Well, I can open it from here too. So, yeah. Getting out of the car and then uh, just sort of, you know, tapping it once and closes it up and seals the car off a nice and compact, tight kind of feeling. The proportion is a really, it's a really large car, but it feels quite tight, quite, quite muscular. And, uh, and we really like the stance and the posture of this, this sort of movement at rest type of feeling coming off the tail light. And then we have this wonderful cut line right here that accentuates a kind of feeling of a, of a trunk lid that could be latched on a four bar type of system that doesn't have to lift up too high and then, for, and then move forward. And that really kind of complements the line of the car as well. And we could imagine a wonderfully engineered hinging system there that could just sort of top it all off. Yeah, I mean, we, we, we build concept cars always with some sort of plan or strategy in mind. Some things are more abstract from a sculptural standpoint. Some cars have no wheels. Other cars might highlight uh, maybe more of a technical aspect of, of what we're trying to do. So every car has a purpose in terms of strategically placing it, not only in the, in the time frame of, of what we're planning and doing with design, but also in terms of strategic positioning for the brand equity of the vehicle or the company itself. So, this particular uh, vehicle here is our latest expression of Hyundai's premium design direction and it's supposed to hint at some of the form language that we're using uh, on, on vehicles that are going to be coming up in, in the near term future that really accentuates the differentiation between our mainstream, mainstream products and some of the Genesis level and, uh, and, and so forth uh, uh, prestigious level vehicles.